Well, hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. My name is Mitchell Osborne. You can find me at MitchellOsborne.com, tarot card reader, psychic medium, and an animal communicator or a pet psychic. But this is your tarot energy forecast for the week of Monday, February the 20th through Sunday the 26th of February, all in the year 2022. I will be using the Terror of Dreams, as always, at least for now, the last two and a half years or so. Um, so yeah, three cards. What does the energy look like for the week if you're watching this, and how can you best navigate or work with that energy? And what might you be able to manifest, bring to life, or learn or grow from it? So let's just pull these three cards, and we'll go from there. So the first card, what does the energy look like week of the 20th? So the High Priestess, this is this beautiful moon energy. So I really feel like this is going to be a week where you are probably going to be very tuned in. Um, your knowledge, your wisdom may be evident, or at least you'll have the potential energy of being really psychic and connected and knowing. How do you best navigate or work with this energy? Ooh, Nine of Swords with a little bit of Gemini and Mars. So I would say... You know, in your communication, be a little diligent and push forward a little bit using this energy. Maybe against the things that you're afraid of. Maybe this is a time to trust your gut and your intuition. Move away from things that might be fearful or push forward through them to the other side, uh, you know, with love, kindness and grace for yourself. So you're not, you know, feeling too overwhelmed. But I really feel like this is uh, facing the fears, you know, the nightmares, the demons and things like that. Again, and trusting or this may be where you do that in the nighttime, in your dream time. So if you utilize this powerful psychic, intuitive, and wise wisdom, knowing energy, you know, for things that may be fearful, scary, especially in communications and things that might be pushing forward to you, what might you learn or grow? Judgment, being released from the things that are holding you back. All right, I love it. So for me, the judgment is about being freed from that grave. You know, it's being let go. It's the second to the last card. After this is world card and like it's over. You're freed from this. So I feel like this this coming week with this powerful psychic intuitive working energy. And I believe we, uh, I think we do have a new moon or a new moon on the 20th. Oh my gosh, now I can't remember if that's the day it is. But I think there is a new moon around. So maybe really powerful as we move into Pisces. <laughs> <laughs> which is very connected to the high priestess, I think, with that moon energy. And I'm a Pisces and I love the high priestess. So I really feel like it's going to be a great time for us to release some things, push past, move past, speak our truth, really communicate with that Gemini energy and be released from whatever's been holding us back, making us feel trapped and chained in place. So I like this one. I like this one a lot. So, all right. Thank you so much. Check out my website. Book a virtual Yay. session with me. I've got a um, few available and you don't have to wait more than a week or two. And also over 50 spreads with pretty much anything you're going through. You can even just ask a one, three, five question, you know, your, of your own questions. And I'll bring those back to you in a YouTube video like this. All right. Namaste. Have a good one. Bye bye.